Hello my fitness followers. Today's video is going to be about the prescription drug called Contrave. I think I can say that it literally saved my life. I'm no doctor, I don't purport to be one or to give medical advice, but I can tell you about my weight loss journey since I started taking Contrave. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Jill Perry Ising and I've lost 125 pounds in the last year and a half. Uh, I started at 297 pounds and I'm currently 172 pounds. And I can say that Contrave really helped me to stay on my journey. So that's what I'm going to talk about in today's video. So let me give you a little bit of background about myself. Uh, I was always in the 170s uh, as an adult and then once I had kids in my mid 30s, I, my weight really ballooned. I went up to almost 300 pounds. I officially weighed in at 297 pounds. And I can say that my weight between running around with the kids activities and always seeming to be out during the dinner hours, you know, went to little league practice and football practice and cheerleading practice and just always running around town with the kids. We ended up eating a lot of fast food and I just let my weight balloon. I, I really just always had food on my mind. It's kind of like I was living to eat. I, I, I would have one meal and I couldn't wait to get to the next meal. And so my weight just skyrocketed. So with my weight skyrocketing, I ended up being in just a, a bad spiral. I was getting depressed because I was getting so overweight. And because I was depressed, I just kept on eating because emotions make you eat. And you know, once you're doing that, it's kind of like you're compulsive. You just keep eating. And then you start feeling guilty because you ate. And so then because you're guilty, you eat more. And because you're depressed, you eat more. And it's just a terrible cycle that you get yourself into. And that's what I was in. So along the way, you can say that I was in met metabolic syndrome, I, I, which I had high blood pressure, high cholesterol, morbidly obese, and I had gone to a destination wedding for a family member in uh, Mexico, and I ended up in the hospital in Mexico with terrible pains in my uh, back. And as I was laying there, getting all these tests done in a foreign hospital without anybody speaking English, um, I finally got a doctor who spoke English and he basically chastised me for being so overweight and he, just, he explained to me that I was in metabolic syndrome and if I didn't stop it I was probably going to have, have a heart attack. So you would think that that scared the bejeebas out of me because I was really just praying to God that I could get home to my husband and my children and even after I came home from that experience I still didn't go on any kind of weight loss journey. So it's really it's all in your head. So once this is right then you can start a weight loss journey. That's what I truly believe. So when I was just in my bad spiral, I just kept on thinking about food. I would have breakfast and I would think about lunch. I'd have lunch and I'd think about dinner. I always seemed to be hungry in between meals. So being hungry in between meals, I just kept on watching my weight balloon and balloon. And so I was definitely depressed over the weight. And then my mother ended up uh, getting cancer and within three months she had passed away. And during that time, the stress of, of that whole, my mother going through cancer and, and being by her side, I just kept on eating and eating. And then after she passed away, if I thought I was depressed before she passed away, I was even twice as depressed after she passed away. And so from that depression, I just kept on eating. And so in the year that she passed, after she had passed away, I gained yet another 50 pounds. So I was pretty much hitting 300 on the scales. And so um, my knees were hurting, my blood pressure was high, my cholesterol was high, and I started going to acupuncture to uh, work on my knees to help with the pain in my knees. And so I was just miserable. And I don't know, one day I was just laying on the acupuncture table in the solace of the dark, quiet room, and I said to myself, what am I doing to myself? I'm gonna eat myself to death, and I'm gonna leave my kids without a mother because I'm gonna have a heart attack from being so overweight. So as I was laying there on the table, I, I thought, oh, I don't know, should I have the weight loss surgery? I, I really didn't want to have the, late, the weight loss surgery. I know a gentleman that I work with had had it, and I can remember him saying to me that, you know, he's glad he had it, he looks great, but he said when he goes out to dinner with his family, he's miserable because he has two bites to eat and he sits there and he watches them eat as he just doesn't eat anything. And I just, for the whole socialization part of it, I didn't like that. And I just didn't want to change my body permanently. That's major surgery. There's all sorts of complications that can happen. So I thought about it, but I, I really didn't want to have that. So as I left the acupuncturist office that day, I went right back to my job because I had gone during my lunch break and I called my doctor and I made an appointment for the very next day. Uh, at that appointment, we talked about ways to lose weight. We talked about the weight loss surgery and I wasn't a big fan of it and she said you know what before you even go on that path how about you try this drug it's called Contrave I didn't know what it was she said at that time it had been out about two years 
and she explained that unlike drugs of the past like fenfen, which makes your stomach feel bloated and full, Contrave works on your mind because most overeaters are obsessed with eating. They're compulsive and usually they're depressed for one reason or another. And the eating obviously is a, one of the reasons that they're depressed. And so it's for people in that bad spiral. So she said that Contrave is um, a combination of two drugs. One being the drug that they give to alcoholics and drug addicts when they're in rehab to try to wean them off of their compulsion for their, you know, for their addiction. And the other part of the drug is an antidepressant. So I was like, I'll give it a try. I mean, I definitely was depressed. I was still, you know, grieving over my mother's loss and, and just the natural depression from the, the obesity. Um, so I, I was desperate. I said, you know what, I, I don't want to have surgery. Maybe I'll, I'll try it. So she explained that the drugs that were in Contrave were, um, uh, I think it's called Bupropion. I think the brand name of that is Wellbutrin, which is an antidepressant. And I think the other one is uh, nel Neltroxone. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Um, definitely look at Contrave's website. It's Contrave.com. And that's the drug that they give to the addicts and so forth to help them with the compulsion and the addiction. So it's definitely a drug that works on the food centers of your brain and then the addiction center of your brain. Um, so I said, let me give it a whirl. Now I have to tell you, I had to wait for my insurance company to approve the drug. So I went online and I started researching it and it, it did show that it comes with a lot of side effects. I mean, uh, suicide, that's obviously very serious. Seizures, that's something that scared me. Um, sweats, constipation, nausea, a whole slew of um, side effects. So I almost chickened out while I was waiting for the insurance company to approve the drug and eventually it, it got approved and I, I went for it. So I started taking uh, Contrave and you have to work up to it slowly. It was one pill a day for the first week, two pills a day for the next week and so on, three pills a day and then work your way up in the fourth week to four pills a day. And um, I have to say, you know, I'm a school teacher and I'm kind of like Pavlov's dog who's trained. As soon as the fifth period bell rings, knowing I have lunch six period, I'm always thinking about food. I'm always thinking about what am I gonna have for lunch today? Where am I gonna go? Am I gonna go home for lunch? Am I gonna go out for lunch? What am I gonna eat next? And on clockwork, like Pavlov's dog, my stomach would start growling during my fifth period class because it was so trained. So fast forward to my taking the drug, from the very first day that I was on Contrave, I noticed a difference. I remember being the bell ringing at the end of my fifth period um, when it's now time for me to go out for my lunch. And I remember thinking, geez, I didn't think about one time today what I was gonna eat. I, you know, my stomach's not even growling. I'm not, wow, I've never not thought about lunch before. So right away, I was aware of, of the fact that my thought process was a little bit different. So now I'm into the first few weeks of taking the drug and like everyone else, I had some side effects. Um, the very first day that I was on the drug, I felt a little bit tired, a little bit dizzy, but that really didn't last. A couple of times I felt like I had the sweats. I mean, I am a woman in my 50s, so you know we're always hot flashing, so sweats come and go. But I definitely thought maybe I was sweating a little bit more and then I ended up having terrible, uh, terrible constipation from it. So we did rectify the uh, constipation. My doctor recommended some stool softeners and taking some fiber. So to this day, I take a Benefiber. Uh, they have flavored packets that you pour into a like, 16 ounce water bottle and you mix it up and you shake it. And I drink that three times a day. You can get it in uh, non-flavored or you can get it in the kiwi strawberry flavor, which I, I do get it in that. I enjoy it. It's kind of sweet. and, and the fiber, let's face it, fiber fills up your stomach and makes you feel full. So it's definitely a dieting trick. Um, so after a little while, I, I did end up, you know, getting past all of, all of the uh, side effects. And then I, it took me about a year to a year and a half to lose the 125 pounds. And now I'm, I'm maintaining. So during that, that year to year and a half, and, and even now I'm still on, on, I'm still on Contrave, even though I'm, I'm maintaining right now, I'm not trying to lose any more weight. I'm, I'm comfortable with where I'm at. Maybe, maybe I'll lose, try to lose another 10 pounds during the course of this year, but I'm not going to try to lose 10 pounds overnight. If it comes, great. If it doesn't, that's fine. I've met my goal, which was to be 175 pounds, and I'm actually a little bit underneath that at 172 pounds. But I can say during the course of the journey, I can remember times, one time I was in the pizza parlor next to work and I had a, a, a piece of pizza with the, like chicken pieces on it. And I can remember about halfway through thinking, hmm, I'm good, I'm done, I'm satisfied. 
So I remember making small little conscious decisions like that. So I, I, I saw it during the way. I would be at, like, say, my kids' baseball or softball games, and I'd be sitting there thinking, hmm, I'm not really hungry. I'm not really thinking about food right now. So I was able to hold myself until we got home and, and have something. And um, it, I really, I just wasn't thinking about snacks all day long. So, uh, and just, you know, whether it be cravings, I just really didn't think about it. Now, along the course of my journey, I treated myself. If I wanted to have something sweet, I had it. And if I wanted to have something salty, a little treat, I had it. I did not cut out anything because I said, you know what? I'll never be able to maintain a diet where I'm cutting out things like carbs because I enjoy carbs. I enjoy pasta. And I think if you cut something out entirely, then you're going to miss it. And then what's going to happen is you're going to crave it and then you're going to binge on it. So I said, I'm not doing that. I started with cutting everything in half that I was eating. If I went to a restaurant, I put half of the portions to the side. If I cooked at home, I had just like one serving instead of like two or three I would have had previously. And um, that seemed to be working. And then a little bit along the way, I said, you know what, let me start um, using an app to count calories. And so I started using the MyFitnessPal app. And with that app, I said to myself, I'm gonna keep every meal 500 calories or less. So even now, I still try to keep my meals at 500 calories or less. So a typical day for me would be to have something like a um, protein bar in the morning. Uh, during lunch, I'll have a sandwich or I'll have a salad. Sometimes I'll come home and I'll make myself a, a smoothie with whey protein, fruit, and almond milk and ice. Um, and then dinner, I'll usually make some kind of a stir fry. Usually it's some kind of protein vegetable and like a brown rice. Um, but we did eat out, you know, during the course of the time that I was on the journey of losing the weight, not maintaining. Uh, sometimes it, we'd have to have a pizza out or, or um, like go to McDonald's or something like that because it was late and we were coming home for our, ki our kids' games. I mean, my, my kids, between the two of them back to back in the summer having double headers, uh, there are times when, you know, we left the house at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. We didn't get home till 10 o'clock at night. So it's kind of like eat whatever you can at that point because I wasn't cooking dinner at 10 o'clock at night. Um, another strategy that I use is I do a lot of meal prepping on the weekends. So this way, instead of having to eat out, I have, you know, healthy meals prepared and in my refrigerator. As a matter of fact, today is a Sunday and I actually cooked all day today to be able to have food for the week. But my point in telling you all of this is that even though I'm on a weight loss drug to make myself not think about food, it's not a magic pill. It's not like somebody sprinkling pixie dust all over you. You still have to go through the process of trying to lose weight. You know, I used to be on Weight Watchers. I, actually, I was on everything. Weight Watchers, Jenny Craig, you name it. Uh, I still do things like I'll keep individual portions of snacks so that I'm not eating a whole bag. Like I said, I do the meal prep. And so there's a number of things that I do. I, I, um, I exercise now. I didn't always exercise because I was just too unhealthy to exercise. Uh, so I try to do that like three times a week. I'm not always successful because we're usually running around. But I still try to live a healthier lifestyle than what I was doing prior to going on this weight loss journey. So um, I said in the beginning of the video, I really truly believe that this prescription medication called Contrave saved my life because I really, really, really was obsessed with the thought that I was going to have a heart attack because I was 300 pounds. My blood pressure was through the roof. My cholesterol was up. Every part of my body ached, my knees, my back, my feet. I had, I think it's called edema when you had really swollen ankles from uh, just being so grossly overweight. And so um, I, I truly believe that this really, 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 truly helped to save my life. So um, not saying it's for you, I'm not a doctor, but it is something that has definitely helped me not think about food all the time. It, and just be, understand, it doesn't make you feel full. It's not like fen, -fen that kind of like blows up your stomach. It doesn't, doesn't do that for you. It just works on your mental psyche. And as a matter of fact, it really did help with the depression that I had after my mother's loss. And so I, I swear if I would have known that antidepressants would have made me feel a little bit better years ago, maybe I would have started them years ago. Maybe I wouldn't have blown up to be 300 pounds. I have to say, since I lost the weight, I feel 10 years younger. I have so much more energy. I'm not tired anymore. I used to always just be so hot. Um, you know, think about it. When you have 125 pounds extra on you, it's like carrying another person. So you're hot because you, you've got all this extra baggage on top of you and you're tired because you, you're working harder to carry the baggage around. So I have to say, I, I, I feel terrific. And um, I used to have, I think, what is it called? Sleep apnea when you can't sleep. So from that, I was tired all the time. So now I actually sleep at night uh, because I don't have sleep apnea anymore because the weight's not keeping me up at night. 
and I just it's it's probably the best decision I ever made. I'm so glad I didn't have the surgery because I that would have changed my body permanently. Um, I don't really pig out at all. I haven't done that not once since I've I've started this journey. I, I, sometimes I go off. I have a couple more you know snacks, but I, I've never had like a pig out or a binge since since I've been on this medication. So I you know I, it did save my life. So with that, um, that that's my story. I, that's how I ended up uh, losing 125 pounds with the assistance of the drug called Contrave. So if you'd like to see my strategies and what I did to actually lose the weight, um, please check out the video in the description uh, below. And uh, you know, please like and subscribe. And I hope to see less of you in the next video. Good luck on your weight loss journey. You can do it too.